All right. Now again, I was talking about you know. In the part um, one. Yeah. From where yeah. I think we are stopping the part, part one, one was yeah. about when you know um. Do your place. Know your place. Your and then someone would say to me, "Okay, what if I'm the one bringing more of the yeah. things on the table?" Yeah. Now I'm not going to say okay for the man. For example, the lady, the woman is the one bringing more of the things on the table. Yeah. In other words, she has the better job. But then you as a man must be able to help her manage a lot of things. Number one, her emotions. Number two, even in the place of taking decisions as to spending, you must be able to be that advice, financial advisor. Yeah. All right. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean you also don't bring things on the table. The value of your decision is key, and it could commensurate for what she brings on the table physically. In terms of, like, okay, she knows that she's working harder, mm. or she. No, let me not use the word working harder. She has a better job, better that's job. paying better. Yeah. But then, when she submits these forms, the man knows how to judiciously, you know, spend it. Yeah. That if they take any financial decision, it's coming from the place of a man who has financial knowledge. Yeah. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, the healthiness of the relationship there is, I would use this illustration to explain it. Okay. Everyone eats food here. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And if you go to your doctors, your doctors will tell you more vegetables less of you know maybe carbohydrates, carbohydrates yeah. and less of some other stuff avoid sugars and you know those those things that you know increases your carb mm -hmm. you know, level yeah. right yeah. however they will tell you about the balance how to balance your diet yeah the same way also all right you must learn how to balance everything because health the health of a relationship is as a result of the ingredients that you put in the relationship. 100%. The motivation you give to each 100%. other. 100%. And it has to be intentional. Yep. That's All the right? word. That Now, no, I like that word you just yeah, said right it now. it has to be intentional. Intentional. All right? Intentional. Okay, for example, I'll, let me share my, my personal example here. My wife is one person that, you know, she wants to prepare food. She can prepare three or four different kind of food at the same at time. At the same time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I understand, even if she is kind of very exhausted, she wants to make sure she get it done. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I understand one thing that she appreciates and value. And what is that thing? My presence. Mm. Just, just with her in the kitchen. Mm. And before you know it, she's getting these things done. Without even thinking about the energy, the stress of it, and in no time, things are getting done. Yeah. Now, what am I there doing? I'm not just there saying, oh, Pele, we're done, and all those kind of things. We're discussing things, we're gisting. Yeah. We're just having some chit chat. Yeah. And that's her energy level. That's what keeps her motivated. Mm. So, of course, does it happen all the time? No. All right. For the most part, sometimes I might be in my office mm -hmm. working, and then of course I see that okay, there's a need to just go check her out, and then yeah. you know, you know, sometimes I do those, you know, um, should I? I mean, I'm, I just go touch her sometimes, you know, in those areas that will raise those needs up. But again, hey, but again, this is it, right? Huh. It's all about understanding the. Uh -huh. You know the strength level of what the spouse, the okay, yeah, yeah. and how to help that person gain more energy there. Yeah. All right. But I love that word you said, though. That intentional. No, no, you we have, have to be intentional. Intentional to have yeah. a healthy relationship in your marriage. Mm -hmm. You need to be intentional because right. there's so many distractions. We have three babies. And, we have three and babies. Talking about, talking about the kids, right? Oh. There are things we do in the morning. Like, we know we have to get it done. We don't have anyone helping us to do yeah. this. Yeah. Right? So when we wake up in the morning, the kids must go to school. Yeah. Right? She she gets them dated, and then I get them dressed. And you're not stressed. I'm not stressed. Yeah. 
and I take them in the morning and, and I pick them. She picks them up. Why did we have to do that schedule? For the most part, during the noon time when the kids are closing from school, that's when I have too many of these high meals. You know, but the morning time, yeah, you know, I can manage my schedule. And yeah, my so that is the understanding. She knows my schedules. I know her schedule, yeah. and then we plan accordingly. Even with hospital kind of, visits, yeah. yeah. Like I, if, if I have to plan for like two people at the, in the same month, children will go for one. I'll go for one. Absolutely. I'm just about it will be according to, to treasure's schedule. I'm not yeah. going to say to your no, you have to go this day. Or she will tell me no. Exactly. I tell you what date is convenient. You will check his calendar. I say okay, I can take this one. Yeah, then yeah, I say I can take. I will take it. I will take care of it. That's that's how it's done. See, listen, guys, it's not rocket science. <laughs> All right, it's not as difficult as you think. Mm. At the same time, yes, some will say, but it's not easy. Yes, but that is where you both need to come together and then understand each other and see that the need for each other's help is crucial. She needs me as much as I need her. Are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why we're all stressed. You can't even. The thing is this: you can't do it alone. <laughs> Forget the fact that someone will tell me and say, you know what? I'm a single parent. Yes. And you're yeah. doing it alone. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's but I, I just want to encourage someone here. If you are in a relationship or you have a marriage, make it work. Okay? Make it work. That be, t tell yourself, what what is it I need to do to make this thing work? Right? Yeah. And the same also, from the, you know, from the lady's perspective, what is it that you need to do also? To make this work. Don't drop position with your spouse. No, don't say, and I think they say, oh, because you are civilized. Like, don't, like, the Bible says, wife, submit to your husband. Say, husband, love your wife. Absolutely. So, which means that, so if everyone, like you said, you're like, if you know your place, and I know my place, like, for example, even if I'm giving you your opinion, Trisha knows that I'm not saying it because I want to bully. And let me also share. I want to show power. There are times I would have made very silly, silly mistakes. And silly I know you've made one before. You know? <laughs> You get it right, so you've been wrong before, yeah. So, like, I don't know how to put this car, I'm driving it to my wife, you know. So, again, it's it's something you have to because you can't, you, you know, no one is perfect, perfect. yeah. All right, and yeah. sometimes don't just ignore the the counsel or the suggestions or the opinions of your spouse, either man there or might, woman, there might be sense in it, yeah. Either man or woman, yeah, yeah not, not like one sided now, yeah. There might be sense in it, yeah. It's very crucial. Yeah. Don't say okay, nothing good comes out of whatever she say or whatever he say. You never can tell. But treasure too, sure. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. that's what, but that but that man or the woman would have proved the same word. And that's what we are talking yeah, about you, here. You, absolutely. Because if every advice that you give at the end of the day, your spouse regrets it. Of course, mm -hmm. the trust is not there in that home. Yeah. That's in the beginning I said something about you. I think in part one I said something that I trust your decision. Right, even though I'm still giving you my own two cents, mm. I said to you about I'm thinking this, I'm thinking that, but I still trust your decisions because you have proven yourself and you don't trust my decisions Absolutely. because you know that ah, I have said some things previous that you're like, wow, thank God that you listened to me and it went well. Yeah. And that's something that I feel like ah, to you, so I have a treasure guard this thing, everything is okay on, on that treasure, you understand? Yeah, so, like, we have so if we have proven ourselves, and I think that's another point, you will have to prove yourself worthy. To your partner, that's correct. Prove yourself worthy. It's like when you take examinations, right? Uh, it, as a result of everything that you probably may have studied or uh -huh. been taught, uh -huh. that you know the lecturer or the teacher will not keep teaching you without having you to prove yes what you have learned. Yeah, yeah. That is why exams are important. And once you are able to pass that exam or that phase of life. You go to the next level yeah and these levels are built in the amount of years you have lived in that relationship yeah now every year what is it that we need to do better that would help us advance from for example now right this year we'll make it nine years by december 10th yeah we have just conquered eight years yeah what is it that we did that helped us all through the eight years yeah okay we are anticipating to get to the ninth year okay now between Close, now please. and december the 10th yeah what is it that we need to do better part three part three treasure part three 
Are you yeah, that? yeah, so guys, like in project management, guys, no, no, right? keep down for part three, keep right. down for part three. Right. Okay, guys. So, guys, yeah. keep watching. You have to watch this series because this is part two. So, watch out for part three if it's not out. Don't look out for it. So, thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as usual, we leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.